Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. This one's about Hitler. We're looking at Death Ship. Can you hear you happy? Let me hear you happy. A cruise liner filled with happy holiday makers. Damn the passengers. And a pissed off George Kennedy is being stalked by another ship. It's on a collision course. That doesn't look like a ship. It's as if it's deliberately trying to ram us. Actually, it's Skull Island, as this shot came from the 1976 King Kong remake. And there's more borrowed footage as the liner is rammed. <laughs> Leaving really very few survivors. We've got to hold our position. Make it easier for air and sea rescue including the first mate's entire family, and later on they find the captain. Which is odd, because this is him in that earlier shot. Although this isn't the most incompetent moment in the movie, wave to the camera crew. The ship that rammed the liner now seems to creep up on the survivors. Make up, who come aboard. We can clear this mess up, play a little shuffleboard, get a tan. Mourn the hundreds who drowned, but before they can do any of that. <laughs> and then. It's as if the ship has a life of its own. This old ship seems to have a life of its own. Really didn't need saying. What is it with this ship? It's like it's running itself. And that's not all. No one can take this ship away from me. The ship also seems to have possessed the captain. It's as if the ship has somehow taken possession of him. There are a lot of good points about Death's ship. The characters never really come to life, and the killings are very unimaginatively staged. <laughs> but the basic idea, sort of Stephen King's Christine, but with a ship, is fine. It's not so bad. The problem is its desperation to over-explain stuff that didn't need explaining. This damn ship! It's like it's alive, trying to kill us! versus its refusal to explain the stuff that did. What's happening? I don't know what's happening. I can see what's happening. I just don't know why. This is a Nazi ship. Everybody got that? Specifically... This must have been used as an interrogation ship. I don't want to be disrespectful, and I'm certainly not a war historian, but... Is that a thing? Why would you need a ship for that? It's shitless. Oops. It feels like the filmmakers wanted to use some highly emotive images. Goldie. Recalling the worst atrocities of the Second World War to justify the ship being possessed. But by what? What do you want me to say? Based on the blood showers... <laughs> and hard candy that gives you the plague. This is Don't touch her, Mommy. She's poisonous. The ship is continuing with its original mission. So, the people who suffered and died here... <laughs> ...aren't the ones possessing it. It would make sense if it was the original crew, but we never find out what happened to them. Did you find anyone? No, there's nobody on board. If they'd been killed, you'd think there would be evidence. If they abandoned ship, then why would they be possessing it? I don't want you to say anything. The closest I can come is that because of its dark purpose, the ship is now fueled by pain and suffering and possibly blood. It needs blood. It must have blood. It must have blood. Once again, this desperate need to over-establish feels like a nicotine patch for explanation where it counts. 
bastard. Truthfully, if it was all tied up and explained, this would still be a grey dirge of a movie. But it still feels like a minor opportunity missed. We made it! Hooray! Now we're just stuck in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For new bad movie reviews every Tuesday, subscribe here. What other vehicles could be possessed a la Christine and the Death Ship? And what might their stories be? Let us know in the comments below. Come on, let's get out of here.